Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, put ourselves a 90 degree bend in this 20 millimeter high impact PVC conduit. So the first thing what we've got to do is decide whereabouts we're going to put our 90 degree bend and then put a mark. For today's example, I'm just going to put the mark approximately halfway. We've then got to use our 20 millimeter bend and spring. So we take our bend and spring, take a mark, ensuring the middle of the bend and spring goes in line with our mark. What we then do is hold our cable, enter the bend and spring, and once the cable gets down to the bottom, we know that that bend and spring is exactly half way in our mark. So then what we've got to do, warm our conduit up. Okay, if you're out on site and you're doing lots of this, you might have a hot air hand dryer. Alternatively, if you haven't got a hot air hand dryer, you've got to warm it up yourself. So you've got two methods. One is with the cloth, if you've got soft hands. The other is with your hands. So what you do, is warm up your conduit through friction. Once the conduit's warm, start your bend. Hey guys, you might be sat here looking, thinking, why have I got my leg up on the uh, electrician's steps? The reason we have leg up on the electrician's steps is because when you're putting a 90 degree bend on, if your leg's at this position, it allows you to pull straight back, keeping your arms straight. If you do it as usual, where people's bent over, you tend to pull upwards, and by pulling upwards, you put a twist in the conduit. So that's why I recommend the use of a step to keep your arms at a 90 degree, allowing you to pull straight back. So I'm going to rewarm the conduit up. Once it's warm, I'm going to put a bend in, just pulling back. As you can see, you pull back, creating a 90 degree bend. What you've got to make sure is you pull beyond 90 degrees because once you let go it will spring back so again keep pressure on what you're looking for is to make sure it's nice and smooth around the outside and also around the inside if you have to make any fine adjustments do so with the spring in do not remove your spring if you remove your spring the conduit will just collapse in on itself so that is you produced a 90 degree bend. Once you think you've got it approximately 90 degrees, remove your bend and spring. And then you've got to check it on a known right angle. For this, I recommend a door frame. See, I'm now using the door frame and checking to make sure it's parallel with the top and the sides and that we have a nice tight angle in the corner. So that one there, it's nice and square.